All right, what's going on guys? Uh, just want to talk today a little bit about my creek boat. I've had a few requests on it whenever I posted a little clip on social media of what you guys wanted to see. A few of you guys slid up and said you want to see a little walkthrough of the creek boat, so I'm going to do that for you today. Um, come a little closer, bro. So this is it. This is the creek boat. It's probably about 12 foot long. Um, this is all it takes. This thing right here gets me anywhere I want to go, up the creek, far as, it, far as I want to go, through the logs, whatever it takes. Um, all right, so I'm just going to demonstrate here what it what it's like and when I am in the creek and when I'm going through stuff. So first things first, back here is the trolling motor. I don't know what pound thrust it is that come with the boat, but it's, uh, it's fast enough, I can tell you that. So first thing I'll do with normally is get in here, I'll put this little thing on, and I'll tighten down, get a little closer right there, Bradley. And I'll tighten down these two things right here on the back of the boat. And then just say that, you know, I got it where I want it. I'll put it down. If it was in the water, it'd go a little farther. But if I got the speed going and I'm going over a log or something like that, I would just pick it up right here. Push that button down, pick it up, and then it sits there like that. So then it's out of the water completely. Another cool thing about this trolling motor is when I am in the creek and I am going over a log or a stump, if I hit one going really fast, because this, this thing, this, this is the speed right here. So there's the stop, there's the forward, there's slow, 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 all the way to faster. And then this is reverse. So it's got a reverse on it too, which is pretty cool. Um, but just say I am, I am going fast. This thing, if it hits a stump, it automatically pops up by itself. So I don't have to do anything. Even if I didn't want to pull it up, it'll hit it and it's it's soft enough to where it'll break up itself and pull up and then keep on going um so that's a pretty cool little feature on that and then right here is where all the magic happens so when i put the trolling motor down these cables right here get tight it's hard, kind of hard to explain right now but these cables get tight these foot pedals pull up a little bit so these foot pedals will pull up right here and then there's a button on this foot pedal get a little closer right there you can see that button right there, and that's what does all the magic. So I'll turn the speed up, for example. I'll press that button, and, you know, I can go wherever I want to go. If I want to go to the left, I push this one down. It'll turn to the left. If I want to go to the right, obviously push that one down to the right. All right, so something else to keep in mind when it comes to this foot pedal right here. Come a little closer, Bradley. Um, so this foot pedal is, it's, it's got a little button, like I said, it pushes down right there. You can flip this over for it to go automatically by itself. But something you want to keep in mind, if you do get one of these, if sand gets in this crack right here, or mud, or any kind of silt, it'll make that button stick down to where, it, no matter what you do, it'll go by itself. So then that kind of, you know, that kind of gets to be a pain in the butt every now and then. But just remember that, just remember that if you, if you get one of these, and it has a foot foot button like that, or a foot pedal, you could say. Just keep in mind that you don't want to have any sand or mud or anything like that on the bottom of your shoes, or you can go through a foot pedal in a day. I've been to, uh, it took me two of them to learn my lesson, but I, uh, I've got there now. And then something else I wanted to talk to you about real quick was this right here. It comes with the boat, I believe so. But it's got a little hole already built in the front. Come a little closer. It's got a hole built in the front right here. So you can put your rope through it. And if you do need to get out the boat, you can easily pull your boat through whatever you need to pull it through, over the logs, over the, over the sandbar, whatever it is. Um, and uh, this thing turns on a dime. So if I'm, you know, if I'm going around a sharp curve or um, the tr big trees coming up, I can instantly turn that speed up, hit these foot pedals whichever way I want to go, and it'll turn that way in a heartbeat. Uh, another cool thing I like about this boat is this right here. This is it's technically a live well but i like it for storage I, I got all my stuff in there um it's plenty of room when you know when you're floating the creek you really don't need too much so this right here gets the job done and then back here is kind of another little storage i put a I put a cooler here usually i'm thinking about taking the back of this out so then i can put a cooler up under there or whatever other tackle or anything else i want um i'm trying to think a little bit about what else the camo seats, I love those. Um, and this thing, this thing's also not too heavy. So if you have to pull it over a log or have to get out, that's not a problem. You just get out of the boat, the weighs light, you just pull it over. Um, this right here is where the battery goes, in case you were wondering. The battery's right here. It's got a little slot already cut in place for it. So you just put the battery down. The cable here, you just put this on the negative, that one on the positive on this side, and you're really good to go. Um, 
There's a plug in the bottom of this. There's one plug back there. So there's two plugs to it. Um, a couple other things that I really like about this boat is the, uh, the color of it. So I like to do some duck hunting as well. So this boat right here is awesome for duck hunting. It'll get you, uh, it'll get you pretty much anywhere you want to go. Like I said, it'll go really shallow. I'm talking, I'm talking one inch of water. This boat will go over without you having to get out. You know, the only reason you have to get out is pretty much if it's out of the water itself. And it's, uh, it holds up to 450 pounds. But yeah, I like the color of this boat because you can do some duck hunting and they won't never see you as long as you're, as long as you're stealthy. Um, but yeah, I, I love this thing. If you guys have any kind of recommendations that you would do or anything different that you put on this boat, let me know. I'm trying to think of a couple ways that I could protect the rods a little more. So, you know, whenever I got the foot pedals up like this and the rods are and the rods are hanging back, they're not on my feet or they're not in the way of the guy in the front. All right, so I'm gonna throw a few little clips in here of how good this thing really maneuvers around the trees and it does go in reverse really, really well as also. So I'm gonna put a couple clips of that in the video. So. So I'm trying to think of a couple other ways I could uh, could protect the rods or keep the rods out of our way. So if you guys have any recommendations, like I said, just drop them down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video.